7th March we have Saints Perpetua and Felicity. They are martyrs and are patron saints of mothers, expectant mothers, ranters and butchers. Saints Perpetua and Felicity were Christian martyrs who lived during the early persecution of the church in Africa by the Emperor Severus. With details concerning the lives of many early martyrs, unclear and often based on legend, we are fortunate to have the actual record of the courage of Perpetua and Felicity from the hand of Perpetua herself, her teacher Saturus and others who knew them. This account known as the Passion of Saint Perpetua Saint Felicitas and their companions was so popular in the early centuries that it was read during liturgies. In the year 203, Vivia Perpetua, a well-educated noble woman, made the decision to follow the path of her mother and become a Christian, although she knew it could mean her death during the persecution ordered by the Emperor Severus. Her surviving brother followed her leadership and became a catechumen as well. Her pagan father was frenetic with worry and tried to talk her out of her decision. At 22 years old, the well-educated, high-spirited woman had every reason to want to live, including a baby son whom she was still nursing. Perpetua's answer was simple and clear. Pointing to a water jug, she asked her father, See that pot lying there? Can you call it by any other name than what it is? Her father answered, Of course not. Perpetua responded, Neither can I call myself by any other name than what I am, a Christian. This answer upset her father and he attacked her. Perpetua reports that after that incident, she was glad to be separated from him for a few days, even though that separation was the result of her arrest and imprisonment. Perpetua was arrested with four other catechumens, including two slaves. Their instructor in the faith, Saturus, chose to share their punishment and was also imprisoned. Perpetua was baptized before taken to prison. She was known for her gift of the Lord's speech and receiving messages from God. She tells us that at the time of her baptism, she was told to pray for nothing but endurance in the face of her trials. The prison was so crowded with people that the heat was suffocating. There was no light anywhere and Perpetua had never known such darkness. The soldiers who arrested and guarded them pushed and threw them without any concern. Perpetua had no trouble admitting she was very afraid. But during all this horror, her most excruciating pain came from being separated from her baby. The young slave Felicity was even worse off, for Felicity suffered the stifling heat, overcrowding and rough handling while being eight months pregnant. Perpetua received permission for her baby to stay with her and she recalled, my prison suddenly became a palace for me. Once more, her father came to her, begging her to give in, kissing her hands and throwing himself at her feet. She told him, 
we lie not in our own power but in the power of god when she and his and the others were taken to be examined and sentenced her father followed pleading with her and the judge the judge out of pity also tried to get perpetua to change her mind but when she stood fast she was sentenced with others to be thrown to the wild beast in the arena meanwhile felicity was also in torment it was against the law for pregnant women to be executed to kill a child in the womb was shedding innocent and sacred blood felicity was afraid that she would not give birth before the day set for their martyrdom however two days before the execution felicity went into a painful labor the guards made fun of her insulting her by saying if you think you you cannot suffer now how will stand it when you face the wild beast felicity answered them calmly now i am the one who is suffering but in the arena another will be in me suffering for me because i will be suffering for him she gave birth to a healthy girl who was adopted and raised by one of the christian women of carthage the officers of the prison began to recognize the power of the christians and the strength and leadership of perpetua in some cases this helped the christians the warden let them have visitors and later became a believer there was a feast the feast the day before the games so that the crowd could see the martyrs and make fun of them but the martyrs turned this all around by laughing at the crowd for not being christians and exhorting them to follow their example the four new christians one had already died in the prison and their teacher went to the arena with joy and calm perpetua in usual high spirits met the eyes of everyone along the way we are told she walked with the shining steps as the true wife of christ the darling of god when those at the arena tried to force perpetua and the rest to dress in robes dedicated to their gods perpetua challenged her executioners we came to die out of our own free will so we wouldn't lose our freedom to worship our god we gave our lives so that we wouldn't have to worship your gods she and the others were allowed to keep their clothes the men were attacked by bears leopards and wild boars the women were stripped to face the two were thrown out and attacked but the crowd cried out they had had enough the women were removed and clothed again perpetua and felicity were thrown back into the arena perpetua called out to her brother and other christians and said stand fast in the faith and love one another do not let our sufferings be a stumbling block to you perpetua and felicity stood side by side and were killed by sword at carthage in the roman province of africa <laughs>